we're here on the euro yen 15 minute time frame this is a head and shoulders that i've got in um i've waited for the hourly candle to close which was at eight o'clock 12 minutes ago just to give me a little bit more confluence here uh, because there is the potential that this head and shoulders could have already played out um but there's just as much uh, potential that we could see the move lower and so i've just waited for a little bit more confirmation there so uh, let's go ahead here delete it off and do the higher time frame analysis go out to the daily time frame really here on the dailies i would only be looking for longs and the reason for that is simply this candlestick formation here we've got a doji uh, right here hammer followed by a higher 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 close um, but we haven't violated this level of structure but overall I would be looking just more bullish here on the daily than than short um, here on the 240 it's a bit of a mixed bag this um, we've come down to this level you can see it's been tested uh, and that was after we had this move lower and if I just yeah no that doesn't work um, just over just overall here looking I would suggest that we're going bullish um, although if you was to do this you could look bearish but there's nothing to indicate here bearish uh, let's go to the 60 okay here on the 60s where we can see the head and shoulders and the reason i drew this trend line on was because um, this could be a bearish signal now you can see the head and shoulders here we had the left shoulder we had the head the right shoulder and then we had a break below close below or an initial structure low here and I waited for the hourly candle to close because I wanted a bit more confirmation here because the higher time frame is saying that we could go uh, we could go higher so we put in a bit of a pin bar here now and um, we are currently working our way higher um, we could very well see here a reversal back down to this level or we could see an AB equals CD pattern down to this level here. So because the higher time frame is telling me that we could go higher, then I want to be a bit more conservative with my target taking. So instead of playing for this extension, I'm looking at playing for the AB equals CD pattern. Now, if we drop down to the 15, we have had a lower low, lower close candle. It was this one right here and we did hold this structure level so this is the outside return here and as you can see if I leave the crosshairs on um, we have actually held that structure level we haven't closed within the wicks and then we got the lower 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 close we also did have the RSI confirmation we did go overbought we only just tapped it at about 80 just over 80 I think it was um, so a valid signal here stops go an ATR above the high so that was seven pips and as mentioned we are then looking at playing for that AB equals CD pattern minus a few pips uh, bringing us into around about this structure level just here so um, because I did have the risk to reward here this is the reason why I've also gone ahead with this so 21 pips of risk reward 40 so 2 to 1 confirmation here on the 15 reject rejection on the 60 but the higher time frame is again telling us that we could we could see a pop here to the upside but the trade is valid so i've had to take it we're back we're out <laughs> i say 21 <laughs> that was a very very quick losing trade uh, in total for 24 pips